when I, I'm one of the ones who had problems with uh, the forgiveness, and and I just want to say to you, thank you for loving me. By the second night of the conference, I tried to sleep, and I had a dream that every door in my house was open and rats were pouring in. I kept hollering, shut the doors, shut the doors, but no one was listening. I woke up crying, sad, not knowing if guilt and shame would ever leave me. Satan was mad that I was receiving God's love, so he started repeating in my mind, that I deserve to pay for my sins, and something needs to happen to me. I deserve to pay for my sins, and something bad needed to happen to me. Mm -hmm. I remember how mad Bryn. Bryn would get when she told the spirits not to torment God's children. I still heard my voice that I was unworthy. I heard Bryn's voice that the door of rejection, guilt, and shame were closed. Mm -hmm. But the loudest voice was God saying that he loved me. Mm -hmm. I got up and said something did happen to me for my sins. Something wonderful happened. Mm -hmm. Jesus paid for them on the cross, and his blood covers them. And something did happen to me. Something amazing happened. Something you can't take away. I was forgiven and I was set free. Amen.